All right, what up guys? We're back at it with some Beam NG Drive, and I just wanted to kind of dive a little bit deeper into some of these new vehicles. And I wanted to start with the Auto Bello Stambeco here because it's honestly just such a crazy new addition to Beam NG Drive. It's pretty unique in my opinion. Oh, I just realized that there's a rally version. I think we might hop into the rally version again. I kind of want to check out some of these other ones, but I do, I do kind of want to see what this thing has to offer. Cause yeah, I was a little bit underwhelmed by the service one in the last video. I definitely had to do some upgrades to it to make it a little bit more competitive. I wonder if this thing is going to be a little bit less susceptible to rolling over. Cause that was the other problem was that this thing just loved rolling over. It seems perfectly sturdy though, as far as the, uh, Oh, no, that, that bitch rolls right over. So let's see. First of all, I want to make sure that we've got the right things here. That looks good. Stage two, that's about right. Oh, wheel offset. That's what I really want. Because that'll help us from... Ooh, you can't do that with the rear rear. It's a little interesting. So I don't know how much that is actually going to help. I feel like we're probably still going to be pretty susceptible to rolling over. But, oh boy. Ooh, we just barely missed that. But it should help at least a little bit. So, I mean, any any little bit really helps here, honestly. Yeah, absolutely solid in the suspension department. Oof. I want to try to do a little bit of rock crawling with this. But I, I need to check to make sure there's not a better setup for it. Because this is like a rally setup, not really a rock climbing setup. So, I'll have to double check, make sure there isn't something better. But we'll probably just try it with this one first. Because... We've already got it. We're already here, right? A little bit on the underwhelming side of things. I'd like to see a little bit more power from this thing, but it's pretty good. It's all right. I mean, for what it is, which is like a pretty big truck, it's pretty goddamn versatile. This thing just eats up. This thing is just like that trophy truck. Super smooth butter. Wasn't a huge... I mean, I like the idea of that little Picolino little Baja buggy thing but it's just the suspension is not where it needs to be on that one I'd like to see it a little bit more buttery like this one and the uh, the trophy truck you know what I mean yeah this is this is definitely one of my new favorite vehicles right now that's that's for damn sure I think out of all the vehicles that have been added this one's probably my favorite the Sherpa is a close second I would say Although that, that other buggy is really good, too, so it's, it's hard to say. I'd say that that other buggy is probably my two, and Sherpa's probably tied with the, uh, the trophy truck or something. I don't know. I'd have to play with it a little bit more. Maybe my opinion would change. Dude, what in the fuck is this low gear right now? Yeah, it was pretty weird. I'm not really sure what its problem was, but... Although I gotta say, for something that's supposed to be just like a normal rally setup, this thing is doing pretty good. See, it's really weird. So, so this is me just like holding the throttle, and it doesn't really seem to like it too much. But if I add... If I just like barely touch the brakes, now this is what we're doing when I'm barely touching the brakes. It's weird. You just you add a teeny tiny bit of brakes, and all of a sudden it just like... The transmission starts acting completely differently unexplainably for no reason so you gotta like kind of like just barely squeeze the brake and for some reason it, it makes it behave a little better see because if you don't you get this weird thing where it like stops and does this like i'm not pressing the brake or anything i'm just i'm matting the throttle right now and then watch this i'm not going to change anything about the throttle i'm just going to start like in, in three two one i'm going to start just barely holding the the brake you ready three two one now and then it's just like oh here we go and i'm like barely touching it like just like enough to put weight on the trigger i'm using like an xbox controller right now like oh shit oof wrong fucking button much yeah just just barely enough to like put weight on the fucking trigger and all of a sudden it's performing the way it's supposed to perform it's a little bit unexplainable but you know whatever as long as it's working i guess why not it's probably just some weird caveat of arcade mode, not really sure why. So this thing is a fucking champ, honestly, when it comes to uh, rock crawling. And this isn't even like a rock crawler, this is straight up just the rally. Rally version. 
I don't know. Is there any like adjustable suspension? I didn't really seem to see any options other than the uh, the track width. Yeah, some of these bigger rocks are a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. I'd like to have some slightly bigger wheels on this thing if I could. Like just slightly bigger wheels would make all the difference in the world for some like extra ground clearance and whatnot. But yeah, so far, I'm a pretty big fan of this. It's like, as long as you have the clearance, it seems like it'll climb it. And as long as you don't roll over, too, I guess. Oof, 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 which is like a real, real problem with this thing. It just, it loves, definitely loves falling over, that's for sure. Oh, dude, we're already on 33s, holy crap. Yeah, there's not much bigger than 33s. These 35s exist, but not for this, apparently. But I feel like some 35s would be perfect, man. Seem to be a whole lot of options here. Can't even do any, like, ride height or anything. Like, come on. That's a bit of a bust. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That just eats it right up. Yeah, stay out of that arcade mode on this thing. It, uh, it's a little broken for some reason. Not really sure why. Oh, well, this is steep right here. So we got some steep sand here and some steep rocks. Eats the sand right up like it's not even there. Like it's another day at the beach. Like we're not on the side of a mountain or whatever, right? So that's pretty damn good. All right. If you say so. Just straight straight on up here, huh? Boom. Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty good. I kind of feel like going off course, but I also kind of don't want to roll this thing either. Yeah, this thing is, this thing is good. This... This is everything I've wanted out of a crawler. And I think a while back there was a mod for either a 6x6 or an 8x8. I think that might have been an 8x8. And that was a pretty damn good crawler, but it was like... It was an old mod too, so that was old BeamNG. And it was just like... Not quite it. I remember I had to like... Kind of edit the uh, traction values a little bit to make it a little bit more fun. This is what I've wanted. This is like some super realistic but super grippy and just fucking choose through the dirt, choose through the rocks, anything you throw in front of it. As long as it's got the clearance, it will just straight up go. Like, I, this thing would probably climb a wall if you could find a way to get it to keep traction. Now, this is so far pretty damn impressive. There's almost no stopping this thing and it's pretty ridiculous. Let's see if we can't make our way up here. You know what, fuck it. I kind of want to just go straight up this way. See if we can't, like, fucking almost straight up climb a fucking wall. Yo. This thing said, okay. <laughs> oh, no, and then it gets high centered. The high center will always get you every time. That's why I just... Like, an inch of extra clearance from those 35s is, like... What, what would make the difference, I think. And of course, if I could like raise the suspension to titch too, that'd be nice. Oh shit, I popped a tire. Now that's some old BMG shit right there. <clears throat> I love how it's like, so? Like, I got like five more. So that was the one right there, that was it, that was pretty good. Let's try out just like the super base model, cause why not? Oh, I think this thing's just a four-wheeler, right? It's so fucking cute. Honestly, like, I swear, it almost feels like we've got, like... I don't know, at least, like, seven or eight different vehicles from this, uh, this update. They say five new vehicles, and then I was like, you know, it's almost, like, six because of the Sherpa and that eight-wheel thing are, like, technically two separate vehicles in real life. And then we have this thing... Which is, like, quite honestly, like, entirely different from the other 6x6. I mean, you can try to pretend that it's, like, the same vehicle, but, like, let's be honest. This is not the same fucking vehicle by any means. And even this thing seems like it's probably pretty rad. It's got locking diffs and everything, transfer case, range box. Like, this thing is ready to shreddy biscetti. Can I just, like, get through here? I kind of want to just fucking let me go! I kind of wish I could just, like, go out there. I wonder if you're, like, legitimately not supposed to be able to go over there. 
Like, I honestly wonder if that's just, like, undeveloped land, basically. Like, it's not meant to be dri driven on or whatever. Like, skybox type material or something. I don't know. I want to do the campo, honestly, first of all, because that's just kind of cute. Is there any, like, functional difference here? Oh, that's a police car. I see. And then this is, like, what? Oh, with an updated engine and some other kind of fun stuff attached to it. It also kind of doesn't even look like a camper by any means. Like, the outside looks like a camper. The inside just straight up looks like a fucking truck. But it's still cute. It's still cool. I like it. Ooh. This thing kind of drifts. What else do we have here? Let's hop in this guy, see how much better this is. Get that rear diff real quick. Oh, this thing definitely has some get up. What was that? You see that shit? This thing's like fucking doing wheelies, bro. Are you kidding me? This thing's doing wheelies. That's, that, it's actually, I thought it was, I was like kind of making a joke because of the suspension, but that was a legitimate wheelie. Like the wheels straight up leave the ground. That is insane. This isn't even the fastest one, and it does wheelies, bro. Right, that's not quite the answer. But yeah, that's that's impressive already. It's just doing wheelies, man. This thing has got such a weird weight balance to it, but I love it. I really do. This is straight up my favorite vehicle now. It really is. This thing is pretty cool. Alright, I want to get something faster. I want to try that turbo diesel it one. It could be a suspension thing, too. It could just be that the suspension on that... Oh, this one feels about the same, though, so... Ooh, I don't know. It's close, but I don't... I don't know what it is about that other one, but that other one just wants to do wheelies. This one's almost there, but just, like, not quite for some reason. You know, I can't... Honestly, I can't believe they didn't make, like, a... Like an extended, like an RV looking version, you know what I mean? Like something that looks like this, but with like, you know, the extendedness. It's an off-road fire truck, bush truck. So anyways, let's see, we got... What can we do to this thing? It's already the best of the best. Let's do that stage two, that'll help. Stage two on that bad boy. So this thing already had a turbocharger. Although I guess you kind of don't have a choice, it looks like. I'm hard pressed to believe that these would give me any more grip. Oof. That's a good start, though. I don't think we can really get much more power than that, though. I'm gonna try the bigger wheels in the back, see if that helps at all. Ooh, did that help? So we're like kind of at the end of the road as far as trying to make this thing wheelie, like, already. Shoot. Well, damn. At least it kind of does wheelies, though. Anyway, so this video is getting pretty long. I think that's probably about it for this video. I think we've done a pretty good look into this awesome new vehicle. Honestly, this is definitely my favorite out of the new vehicles. This is just so cool to have. This is, like, I think one of the first mods I actually downloaded was this, like, the 8x8 mod or whatever. I don't know about, like, the first mod, but it was, like, up there with, like, one of the first mods I ever downloaded. And, uh, yeah, it's cool to see something like that just in the game existing as is in the vanilla version, you know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the new update and all the new vehicles. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any other gaming content for that matter. And, of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you become a channel member. Help support this channel monetarily. Help me pay some bills around here. That sort of thing. But yeah, that means I've been Plock the Master Gamer with some BeamNG Drive. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Skrrr! It's a pretty good one. Oh, this thing is sturdy, too. Look at that.